We're trying to introduce Jordan in a unique uh, way uh, and uh, we just link it with the food and the adventure, eco-tourism. Uh, we don't want to forget the religious part. The religious part is very important. You know that Jordan, we have the baptism site and all the religious sites in Jordan, Madaba, Mount Nebo, Mekawar, and all the old churches are based in Jordan. It means that, and you can see that. Uh, the the uh, good news now that uh, there is a lot of investors now they are just uh, targeting Jordan. Now, for instance, now in Dead Sea we have uh, four new projects now for, for hotels. Uh, we are talking about uh, investment by uh, three or four billion US dollars in the, the Dead Sea now area, which means that the, the investors are looking for Jordan as a destination of choice. In Aqaba we have three mega projects with 15 billion uh, US dollars investment in, in uh, Marsa Zayed. Uh, Saraya, Ayla, it's a huge project. Uh, this means that the, the investors that are looking for Jordan as a very stable country, that it's promising, the big potential, but still we need to, to, to penetrate the investment for the uh, more governance. Uh, let's say uh, in Ma'an, Karak, Tafila, uh, Salt, uh, the northern part of Jordan, there is a lot of big opportunities there for investors to come because they, 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 these governments have uh, different experiences, different projects. The return on investment in Jordan is very high and it's promising uh, due to the fact that Jordan now, uh, after all these, uh, let's say, uh, circumstances uh, that happened uh, around the world, Jordan, we proved, we proved that uh, Jordan uh, will remain the oasis of peace and uh, the hospitality of Jordanians remains uh, welcoming the people uh, and, and, and they will have a very fantastic and uh, uh, authentic experience in our country.